Everything has energy, frequency, and vibration. Nikola Tesla once said, if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. So, if everything has energy, frequency, and vibration, then that must include the clothing that we wear. In the Bible, Deuteronomy 22.11, it says, Do not wear clothes of wool and linen woven together. This is what got Dr. Heidi Yellen to further investigate the energy and the frequency of specific fabrics. You're doing good work, Greg. Keep doing what you're doing. I will. And while I got you here, I suspect that YouTube is shadow banning me. So if you could, could you have them lift it? No, I think they're shadow banning me too. What Dr. Yellen found out will blow your mind and hopefully more than a handful of my 146,000 potentially shadow banned subscribers will get to see this. Get ready for a thought provoking journey into a world of how the clothing we wear affects our energetic frequency. Let's get busy. Intrigued by the ancient instructions in the Torah and Old Testament, Deuteronomy 22.11, advising against wearing clothes made of wool and linen woven together, Dr. Heidi Yellen went on a journey to understand if there could be a logical explanation for this ancient directive. In 2003, she conducted a study that specifically looked into the frequencies of different fabrics, shedding light on potential connections between the fabrics we wear in everyday life and human health. Dr. Yellen's research draws upon the concept of frequency in the context of energy, light, and matter. All physical matter, including the human body and fabrics, consists of vibrating atoms creating what is referred to as energy or frequency. According to the study, fabrics with higher frequencies, including linen and wool, might have a positive effect on the human body. The study also brings into question the use of synthetic fabrics, fabrics like rayon, nylon, and polyester, essentially composed of plastic, may release microplastics into the water supply during laundering. Furthermore, questions are raised about the absorption of toxic chemicals used in synthetic fabrics through the skin. Dr. Yellen used a machine known as the Ag Environ machine to measure what she termed as the signature frequencies of various fabrics. This machine, invented by Bob Graham, was initially designed to analyze the signature frequencies of agricultural commodities, aiding in farmers determining optimal harvest times. However, Graham discovered that the machine could also identify illness-related frequencies, leading him to explore its potential applications in human well-being. According to Bob Graham's findings, the human body emits different frequencies based on its health status. A healthy body registers a higher frequency while a diseased body exhibits a lower frequency. For example, a healthy body might have a frequency of 100, whereas a very diseased body could register as low as 15. Dr. Yellen's study reported the following signature frequencies for various fabrics. Checking in at the highest was linen and wool, both checking in at 5,000. But if you mixed linen with wool, it's a zero because they cancel each other out. Organic cotton is 100, cotton is 70, and silk, polyester, and rayon registered at 15. Let's put this in perspective. Linen or wool give off 50 times more higher frequencies than organic cotton, 71 times more than cotton, and 333 times more than silk, polyester, or rayon. The study shows that mixing linen and wool cancels out their frequencies, aligning with the ancient prohibition mentioned in religious texts. The frequency of linen and wool, when they are worn separately, are both high, indicating a positive impact on the body. Additionally, Dr. Yellen never tested the frequency of hemp. No, I said hemp. Not shemp. Why, you numbskull? But when you compare linen to hemp, they share many similar properties. Like linen, hemp carries no static charge, meaning it's literally grounding to wear it. Linen is strong, but hemp is even stronger. Hemp is the most durable of natural fibers, 3.3 times more durable than cotton. 
The extended life of hemp means that if everyone wore it, we could reduce by one third the resources needed to clothe the entire planet. Linen is UV resistant. Hemp is UV resistant. Linen is bacteria and mold resistant, and so is hemp. The study prompts consideration of fabric choices beyond aesthetic and comfort preferences. Natural fibers like linen and wool, with their higher frequencies, are theorized to bring energy to the human body and potentially support the healing process. In contrast, synthetic fabrics like polyester, rayon, and silk exhibit lower frequencies, raising questions about their potential impact on health. If we look at the frequency of specific colors, we find the following. High frequency colors include violet, which represents spiritual energy, a connection to higher realms, intuition, and enlightenment. Its high frequency is linked to its shorter wavelength on the light spectrum. White can symbolize purity, wholeness, divine light, and new beginnings. Its high frequency could represent a state of openness and receptivity to all potential energies. Gold is the color of kingship, abundance, prosperity, and wisdom. Its high frequency might represent power, radiance, and activation of creative potential. Low frequency colors include black, not necessarily considered bad in all systems, but it often represents the unknown, mystery, grounding, and potential for transformation. Its lower frequency could also represent a more inward, introspective, and potentially resting state of mind. Brown represents stability, earthiness, groundedness, and connection to the material world. Its lower frequency might reflect a focus on practical matters and physical needs. Gray represents neutrality, balance, reflection, and a space between extremes. Its lower frequency could represent a state of contemplation, neutrality, or transition. I think I need to give my closet a clothing detox. Tesla once said, There is no energy in matter other than that received from the environment. Tesla saw the universe as a vast ocean of energy and he believed that we could tap into this energy by understanding its underlying principles. So if our clothing has specific frequencies as well as the color of the clothing we wear, then we might be able to influence our own energy levels or the way other people perceive us. It also raises questions about the potential impact of our clothing choices on ourselves and the environment. So. It's not just about looking good. It's about the energy and the mood that our clothing brings to us and everyone we interact with. What are your thoughts? Leave your comments below. I'm gonna wrap it up there. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd like to thank everyone who has helped to support my work on Patreon. Please join me there at patreon.com slash in5d and get a shout out on upcoming in5d production videos, as well as being listed on our wall of gratitude featured on in5d.com. And if no one told you this yet today, please allow me to be the first. You are loved. You are appreciated. Thank you for your service to humanity. Until the next time, I'm Greg Prescott from N5D.com, sending you all infinite love and light from my heart to yours. Take care, everyone.